guys it has been so long since i've vlogged i feel very uh, guilty about it i'm not gonna lie so much has actually happened since i last vlogged which oh my gosh how do i begin updating you guys on what all has happened so i recently got a job which is kind of considering how I've talked about how I haven't been able to work due to my POTS and my anxiety being so bad, which lots has changed in that whole realm as well. So what I was doing right here at the computer was I was trying to access my account for the staffing agency that I went through or whatever to get this job because I guess my W-4 didn't work. Hold on, my lens is all messed up. So she asked me to go back on their website on like the employee portal thing to try to fix it. Well, yesterday when I was in their office filling out all this paperwork, you know, like the normal paperwork you fill out before starting a new job, which this whole room I'm going to get into in a second, but oh my god, there's so much I have to update you guys on. So yesterday when I was in their office filling out all this paperwork so the girl that was helping me get this job or whatever that interviewed me and stuff she came up to me and said have you ever applied with us before with a different name and i said yeah i just got married like eight months ago so yeah she's like oh well that kind of complicates things and i'm like uh oh and she said no it's not a big deal it's just that we have to combine both accounts so that it doesn't think that like you're two different people with the same social security number so i proceeded to fill out all my information with Brooke Gomez because that's my name now. Well, this morning when I tried to log in to fix my W-4 with Brooke Gomez's name, me, hello, it said that my username didn't exist. So I'm assuming that when she combined the account with my married name, Brooke Gomez, with my maiden name, that it might have switched it back to my maiden name's username, if that makes sense. So I emailed her and told her what's going on so hopefully she'll get back to me so that I can fix this all because the job that I got is so perfect. I know I've mentioned before, obviously I already did in this video, that I haven't been able to work since we moved back from Bemidji because of my POTS and my anxiety being so bad. On the top of it, topic of anxiety, I mentioned in my last video if I actually uploaded it, which I probably did because Marcos has been on my case about uploading it. I love you. I mentioned that the past few weeks I haven't been feeling the greatest as far as health goes because my POTS was really bad and that my anxiety was like through the roof. I was having panic attacks every single day, all day, and it was the worst at night so then I couldn't sleep so then it made me feel worse during the day. It was rough. So I went to the doctor actually on my birthday. What a great 22nd birthday present. And I got prescribed Zoloft, which I'm not here to promote medication. Each person's journey with mental illness is completely different. I personally was very against taking medication for mental illness until I started having panic attacks again every single day. And I say again because this has happened to me before. In the past, I've experienced having panic attacks like every single day for like months on end, which I am here to attest to that being like the worst thing you can go through and having POTS makes it even worse because anxiety blah, 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 blah. anxiety can actually be a symptom of POTS because I mean like your heart rate is elevated all the time or whatever it's I'm not gonna waste your time on that but anxiety and POTS go hand in hand and when one gets worse the other one gets worse with it which in turn both get worse together does that make any sense so it's really hard to get through essentially. So I was getting to the point where like I wasn't sleeping, like I didn't sleep maybe like a few hours a night, if that. I know one night I slept for maybe an hour, which I love my sleep. <laughs> you think you need sleep just to function as a normal healthy human being? You need sleep to function with POTS and especially anxiety because it just, it just makes everything out of whack. So I got to go to see my doctor on my birthday which like i said was not a very good 20 second birthday gift and i told my doctor hey i can't take this anymore i need something and one of my close friends ben and i think he watches my videos so hey ben thanks for uh suggesting zoloft i'm actually still only taking half of a dose just because i'm afraid of everything and <laughs> The first few weeks of me taking Zoloft uh, was kind of rough because I was already going through that whole panic attack every day 
situation, not being able to sleep, and then throwing a medication on top of that kind of threw me a lot of whack. But now I'm feeling really good. My pots has improved. Well, it hasn't improved. I don't think that's a thing. The job that I got is actually an at-home customer service position, which, praise God, hallelujah, I'm not even saying that as a joke. I've been praying that I would find, like, this job, literally, like, an at-home job that I could do, but I don't know. In my area, it's not... It's, it's really hard to come by jobs like that just because, I don't know, it's a lot easier to find a job where you can just do manual labor, but I don't have that option because I have POTS. Like I've mentioned before, driving is the biggest trigger for me for my anxiety, so it's just so ideal that I'll literally be working right here. That's what I was using to just prop you guys up so I could talk to you, but this is the desk that I will be using. Not so much the stuff up there, but all of this. This desk is so nice. It's got all these little cubbies overhead. It's got these bigger ones that fit these really nice. I've got my little picture of walkie. I made sure I was gonna put that up right away. It'll be nice for a computer here. Mia! No! It's just me! It's just me! Please excuse her. She'll stop in a little bit. Then we've got this, which your computer tower or whatever will go in there. And then we've got drawers here, which I already have some stuff in here. This is just my bullet journaling stuff. Mia! Mia, it's me! You are fine. Come on, come down here. Okay, now that she stopped barking finally. So I have this whole desk to myself, which is going to be great because I guess I get a computer from the company and a phone because customer service you need a phone and a computer it's not like it doesn't pay as well as i thought it would but then again if you think about it i'm gonna be home every day so i don't have to pay for gas and all that stuff so i'm actually really excited like i've said before i was really scared to try to find a new job because people tend to not be very understanding when you have health issues that you literally can't control as if you can really control health issues my next point after going through this whole desk that's gonna be mine now I think I've shown in a vlog before, this basement was like full of junk from my childhood and just years of not going through stuff. As you guys can see, there's room to walk in here. I don't know if I actually did post what this looked like before, but there was barely a walkway to get to the shower, which is right in there. And honestly, I think that was a little glimmer of a blessing as well with getting this new job. It kind of forced my parents and like my family to get through this mess that needed to happen probably 10 years ago but it kind of helped push us into getting it done simply because I needed a work area in a quiet place for this job and I honestly like this isn't me being dramatic I honestly forgot this whole desk was here because there was such a mess on it that you literally you forgot it was a desk you thought it was just a part of the mess so now I mean, there's still a lot of work to be done down here, as you can see. Like, this isn't just... This looks more like your normal clutter. Before, it was a full-on hoard. But, now that this is pretty much... It's cleared out enough to be able to actually walk in here. And this is cleared up, I'm happy. <laughs> like, I thought that it wasn't going to get done in time, and that I wouldn't be able to get the job because of it, and all that stuff. So, ooh, it's Doc. something that I want to address with all of these updates and stuff. The one thing that I'm kind of sad about is if you guys thought that I was already not posting very much, I'm probably not going to post very much at all <laughs> when I start this job. It's a full-time job, so I'm legit going to be working like almost 12-hour shifts. I think my shifts are mainly like it depends on the day, but I think the longest one is from like 9.30 a.m. to like 8 p.m. I think I get off at 8 p.m. every day. I was originally told that I would get my choice of shift, which I think originally I would be working from like 8 to 6 or something like that. Something in there. But I guess there were a few people that like officially got the job before I did, so my shift got shifted. So now, like I said, I'll be working sometime in the morning till 8 p.m. most days. But they also informed me that it's very common, obviously, for people to kind of 
fall off. That's the terminology she used, but I'm assuming it's just people that, like, the job doesn't work out or they're just not good workers or whatever. I don't know. It would just be kind of nice to get off, like, closer to that 6 o'clock range just because then I can actually spend time with Marcos and stuff because we'll literally be on opposite schedules even though I'm going to be starting my shift pretty much right after he starts his. But it's fine. Whatever. It'll work out. Um yeah sorry that i'm talking this whole vlog it's just there's so much that i wanted to update you guys on and i don't have anything to really do i mean the past two weeks i've been taking out my family friend's dog a few times a day also ben and brenda if you watch this i know you watch these so holla literally that's all i've really been doing is just kind of hanging out going through this whole job process thing and letting out their dog which isn't the most interesting thing ever so it is hot it's only 9 32 in the a.m and it's let's check oh look at that 79 degrees almost right on the ball I, it's kind of weird because this is the first time that i've started a job that i really don't know anything about i mean i've done customer service before but that's such a broad area of work but, I mean, I don't really know much about the company just because it's a staffing agency that I went through. So it's just like, y'all need a job, I got a job for you, and then you'll find out the rest later. So it's just kind of a weird experience for me, but thank thankfully, or thank, thank, thanking Zoloft for the ability to make it through some uncertainty. Because usually uncertainty or the unknown really freaks me out. I mean, I have anxiety, that's kind of a given. Walkie, are you so pretty? Are you such a pretty girl? Come here! Hi! What you doing? What's my baby doing? You're really warm. Come on! It's too hot for you to be hanging out there all day. Come on! Come inside! It's nice and cool in here! Come on! You little stinker! It's always super easy to get Mia inside, the orange and white one, but this one... Anytime you try to let her in, she's like, nope, nope, I wanna I want stay out here. As soon as I hide where she can't see me at the door, she'll come in. Watch. Pookie treats! <laughs> no, Mia! Oh my gosh! Of course, as soon as I mention treats, she's all for coming in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I totally forgot to announce like one of the most exciting bits of information ever, other than my new job but something super super exciting is happening i still don't even know how to like announce this i've posted it on my instagram so maybe some of you have already seen it but i am officially an affiliate of abella eyewear and i don't know if you guys have ever heard of it it's actually a brand new company i think they've only been a thing for about two months now but they are a sunglasses company i'm just gonna cut to the chase they are a sunglasses company I only have two pairs right now, but that's because, like I said, they've only been a company for like two months. But it's super exciting because I actually have my own affiliate code with them, which is, I still can't believe it. Like, you know how your favorite YouTubers say like, oh, use my code at morphe.com to save 10% or whatever. Like, I have one of those codes, but I mean, it's not for makeup, but it's for really cute sunglasses. These are the two styles that I have. This one is called Albi. And the color is in silver blue. Here is the curly in gold red. I'm so excited. Like, I still can't believe this is real. Um, I'll put my code on the screen. It is brook004. I kind of tried to base it a little bit off of what my YouTube channel's name is. But yeah, if you use that code at checkout on abellaeyewear.com, you'll save 30%. 30%! 30% off, that's crazy. And I actually really love these sunglasses. These ones are a little bit different. I went out of my comfort zone a little bit with these, but I thought they'd be cute for like Instagram pictures and stuff like that. But if you guys aren't following me on Instagram or Twitter, you totally should. I'll have them show up and they're always down below. But yeah, you should totally follow me on Instagram for sure because I showcased these two. Oh my gosh, I still can't believe this. Like. So, if you guys want some really cute sunglasses for summer 2018, go to abellaeyewear.com. I'll link it down below and use my code BROKE004 to save 30%. Like, 
what <laughs> like, i would say the quality is pretty good i mean this isn't like a whole review on these but the thing i like about these ones though is they're lightweight one of the things that bothers me the most about wearing sunglasses is okay i wear glasses normally so i am pretty much an expert at this point of how comfortable a frame is gonna feel on my face these are actual prescription glasses that i wear every day like this is where my vision is improved right here these ones and these are really annoying because like back here the earpiece thing or the ear support thing is really uncomfortable it like digs into my skin and these little pads in here they tend to like hurt my nose that's why i end up with these huge marks on my face but the thing that i love about at least these two styles of sunglasses that i have is they're made really light one thing that i hate about sunglasses is when they're made like i mean i get the importance of like a product feeling heavy and like luxurious and whatever but i like these because like if you can see if you if you can see the frames are really thin which i think looks nice and sleek but also they're really lightweight like i when i wear these i wore these at well you guys saw in my um, proving grounds vlog i was wearing these like i literally forgot that i was wearing these because they're so lightweight and they're so like you can barely see my eyes through them which i really like in a polarized lens and I believe that these have like a UV protection in them. Don't quote me, I don't remember. I don't really f focus on details like that, but these are like, you can't really see my eyes through them, which I really like in a polarized lens because it looks like the mirrored, I, I don't know, I like the quality of the mirrorness to it and the blue, blue color. Uh, but yeah, they're so lightweight and the nose piece, like it's, I've never had glasses like this before where the nose piece like of the frame is way up here but the pads are like way down here it kind of looks cool like i mean it, i don't know they just look really cool and they're so lightweight like they don't feel uncomfortable back here at all and my nose i think if i remember right i didn't get marks on my nose which is really hard to come by so if you guys want to pick these up these are the i forget the name i think it's alby and they're in the color silver blue you can get other colors but i just like these the best and then in the curly like i said i didn't really get these to like I don't know, I'd like to wear them out, but it's just they're very out of my comfort zone. I don't know if this is how the frame is made, but they're kind of made where they like sit lower on your nose. And I think like for my face shape, if, as you can see, they kind of sit like high on my face. Like they look like they're like way too high. So I just kind of like it for pictures. I know that might sound really lame, but I don't know. I just really liked the color of these ones. These ones are very comfortable. It's just like... I'm a very like basic person when it comes to sunglasses so like this is like very out of my comfort zone I just really liked the octagon shape of the frame I thought it was really cool but yeah these ones I got mainly for like Instagram pictures and stuff I don't know and these this style of frame is pretty popular right now but yeah it's just a gold frame with some red lenses and I believe those ones have UV protection in them too sorry this video is like literally all talking but there's just i don't know there's exciting things that have been happening lately and just want to update you guys it says my account is locked okay okay i will go in i can unlock that for you really quick okay all right one more time it might lock you out again i might have to go in and unlock you but they're not worked it worked yeah okay so the last two um
I interrupt this montage to show you guys proof that this is part of why I have baby fever. The first three posts on my Instagram are all babies. <laughs> like one, two, three. I'm just gonna keep scrolling and tell you how many more baby pictures I see. So I saw three. I see two dog pictures. Okay. Oh, there's KK and Baby J's kids. More baby fever. Just feeding, feeding me the baby fever. Yeah, so that's five children that I've seen on my feed just, just now. Y'all wanna know where it comes from? Hmm? Y'all aren't helping me out here. <laughs> okay, back to regular scheduled programming. Hello? Oh, okay. This is the part that sucks. So, I was trying to finish editing the video that will have been before this one, but my computer is having troubles like it always does. Oh, of course, now when I'm talking about it, my video loads. But I've had to like open and close my editing software like three times already and I just restarted my computer because it kept skipping. But I'm gonna have to put that on hold for now because the staffing agency, they just called and they have more paperwork for me to fill out. But it sucks because the staffing agency is a half an hour away. And if you guys know, I mean, I even mentioned it in this video right now. What's my biggest anxiety trigger? Ding, 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 driving. I'm gonna have to hurry up and get ready really, really fast because I'm supposed to be there at 1.15. I have to actually run to my family friend's place and let out their dog, but I'm gonna get ready first because I'm not gonna put makeup on today because I'm just doing paperwork there. So I'm just gonna get ready really fast and then I'll see you at their place. You ready to go potty? Yeah, okay, let's go.
off these bins. My glasses are dirty. Please hold. I'm using my knee to steer, it's all good.
Longfield hours later. What? I know, I might drown. This is what I deal with every single time I edit. This computer is trash. <laughs> 